when I switched to Pro Mileage, in my case, I got 46, 47 percent of savings oh, for that time. Pro Mileage was the only one that gave me 5,000 extra value to cover, yet still cheaper, a lot less. A lot Turn up. Less. Hi guys, so this just arrived today, yes, Zuan, okay, so earlier on I mentioned that uh, I want to put my blue E39, the 525, through a, uh, a thorough restoration process, and this is something I've bought to add a touch of, uh, add a bit of a more modern touch to the car. Zuan cycle go, so, uh, this just arrived from Lazada. Okay, 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 come. Come here. Yeah. This is it. <laughs> ah. Ah right. So this is uh I bought an Xtron's touchscreen unit, Android touchscreen unit, which uh which will be installed on the dashboard. Okay, so unboxing here. This is the uh, owner's, the user manual that's fitted inside there. And I better keep this out of your reach. Mm. So these are, yes, you can take and hold. So these are all the cables uh, to for it to interface with the car. All right, all these lah. Okay, it's supposed to go into the car's wiring. Let me just keep them, put them into safekeeping. Yeah. All right. Well, here you get it. More connectors and modules. This as well. Now this is actually. Oh, you can, we have it, a CAN bus decoder. All right, CAN bus decoder. Now the thing is this. This is something usually quite simple. Uh, which you can even DIY. There are plenty of of of, uh, of videos online to show us how to DIY this. All right. So then, can you pass that back to Appa? Thank you. All right. So this is the this is the whole thing. Okay. Just bring it to you guys to see. I'm not going to take it out from the plastic just yet. See, this is the screen. Okay. This is the touch screen. And these are the buttons at the side. Why I chose this one is because this actually, uh, this unit actually replicates the factory touchscreen appearance that that they previous uh, that BMW sold with the E39. All right. So yep, here I've got it. I'm looking forward to fix it to the car. Alright guys, so now I'm at this uh, accessory shop Procast in Klanajaya with my 525i. You know, there's a little something here. Ah, got a reverse camera for this car. Uh, well, I know the uh, this is not uh, a bit not OEM lah, this fitment. So, well, uh, maybe I'll upgrade to something else next time. But one step at a time. Uh, today, I just want to share with you guys, I have now this <laughs> so now my uh, five to five now is at uh is at uh got a bit of i drive standard lah huh? okay so now i've got a touch screen android touch screen this is the famous xtrons unit all right, that is very popular with E39 owners. And why is it popular? It is because this unit replicates the facade of the original factory fit uh, unit that came with the E39 with these buttons here and the screen here in the middle. Okay, so why I chose this, it's because of in order to preserve that uh, that OE look and feel to the car, car's dashboard whilst you know giving it a more modern touch. So new additions. Now I have got two USB ports here. All right, uh, and and uh, and what I do first impressions. Okay, the audio quality does sound quite crisp 
okay and you can con very conveniently adjust the the uh you can very conveniently do the manual tuning uh of course there's the home screen i'm still i'm still getting used to this to be honest now there's bluetooth function which i can integrate with my phone uh, i've got a calendar function here and you've got all these various apps that uh that you can that you can try power steering view buttons press steering view buttons well the thing is that these car steering view buttons actually don't work all right it never came with the car got calculator la gallery la. actually a lot of these things won't won't be useful but what will really come in handy of course is this i've got a reverse camera now all right and uh of course the pleasure of peeling off the plastic yay good clarity overall all right of course you can't compare it with an actual modern iDrive unit Okay, but overall, I think quite crisp. I feel it's quite crisp. Uh, okay, that's the front camera uh, function. All right, so then uh, there are some of these things that are not compatible with uh, with uh, with but there are some of these things that you know that will we need internet access that I don't currently have in this car but overall it does give the car a significantly more you know a more modern modern look maybe i can would as uh as in my journey of ownership with this car i can discover more with this and play more with the functions here all right so let's do a quick inspection of the wiring now over here you can see okay now the reverse camera wiring obviously had to come through here all right and you can quickly trace it this go connects to the reverse line this is obviously the power source of the reverse camera and this an extra one here this obviously goes to the video feed all right that you can see it heads straight in to the car's body so now one thing i didn't quite like about this setup was that it didn't have really of a of a factory appearance until now okay all right so oh -ho. <laughs> so now i have actually got uh, I've actually got <laughs> I drive in my car <laughs> all right but uh, but I don't have the rotary knob in here but I've got an appearance of I drive so play back settings so you've got to play with all these functions yeah. but connected drive some or you don't play play So okay lah, at least I got an appearance of I drive in my in my car now. <laughs> now I need to figure out how to play with this so that I can move all my Android, all my radio and whatever not through this app. When I switched to Pro Mileage, in my case, I got 46-47% of savings oh, for that time. Yeah. Pro Mileage was the only one that gave me 5,000 extra value to cover, yet still cheaper, a lot less. A lot Turn up. Guys, 
So I'm here at WTF Auto Services. I'm supposed to be heading to the Aston Martin showroom for a shoot. But as I uh, mentioned the other day, all right, uh, got a crack on the windscreen of my silver E39. So uh, decided to come here, drop this car here to, uh, well, to have the windscreen changed. So thankfully, all right, this car, uh, of course, insured under Evo Club Insurance, and uh, I have actually topped in an extra two thousand ringgit of windscreen coverage. So uh, they're going to check and see whether, whether well, the the cost of the windscreen definitely can cover la. They will also see whether how whether can it cover the cost of retinting the windscreen as well. Uh, they told me that uh, the car will be ready for collection today. So I'm not sure if I some part to pick up today or not, but. Uh, yeah, so let's see how it goes from here. Okay guys, so 24 hours later, car is done. It was actually done yesterday, but uh, I was too busy with uh, with other matters. So I had to wait for it to be collected uh, today. All right, so well, I my my limit is 2,000 ringgit. And uh, so it was enough. So my, my claim, sorry, my insured value of the windscreen is 2000 ringgit so uh it was sufficient in fact for me to have uh the the winds the, a new windscreen in place together with uh with the tinting redone as well so very very happy about this all right so very thankful uh this time around to have gotten my uh to, this this is one time that the windscreen insurance well it uh it paid me off and uh yep so got a new windscreen in place we didn't have to pay money and yeah and it's uh it's all settled very 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 quickly okay cheers when i switched to pro in my case i got 46 47 percent of savings oh, for that pro was the only one that gave me five thousand extra value to cover yet still cheaper a lot less a lot Turn up. All right, guys, so here's my S Max, and something rather unfortunate happened last night. So, last night, um, well, my daughters can't sleep, so I decided to take them out for a spin. And uh, I was on the federal highway, uh, heading from PJ to KL. We were taking that, that left hander curve at in front of Mid Valley. All right, so I was overtaking a bazaar. On the fast, I was on the fast lane. I was overtaking a Beza who was on the slow lane, a blue color Beza lah, on the slow lane. And um, I'm not sure what happened. I don't know whether did the driver lose concentration, the driver understeered, or whatever. Uh, I passed him at about maybe 80 or 90 kilometers per hour. And the next thing I know, the Beza brushed the side of my car. There was an impact. All right, and because I was, it was. At night, lah, 9, uh, 9.50, 10 p.m. Uh, I was alone with my two kids. So I didn't want to stop along the highway. It's too dangerous. And uh, I drove on. And I exited the highway at the Sepute. Uh, took the Sepute exit. The, the Beza driver did not follow me. So uh, just to show you guys the impact. This is obviously left by his side mirror. Alright. Uh, this is... Uh, well... Well, okay, so this can, some of this can be brushed off. That's good. All right, so um, there's a dent here. This part is dented, obviously dented. Um, not, not, not very significant damage. Maybe just have to slightly beat this panel back. Uh, but yeah, but anyway, I have to say this car, uh, it took the impact like a champ. I felt the hit, but... Um, and the thing is that right because I was I was cornering, okay, it, it the, the 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 car hit me at an angle that because my car would have was leaning on the outside. Um any less a, a lesser car or tires in lesser condition, um I might have been pushed, 
you know the my tail might have been pushed and uh, into a spin so uh, the car took it like a champ as if it, it it practically brushed off the impact like it did not happen uh, yeah so it was great I'm not sure what happened with the Beza I was uh, I had a dash I have a dash cam in this car but it's I was so unfortunate that the power to the dash cam so happened to be disconnected I couldn't get footage of the of the of the other car um, yeah and uh, and and what I what happened was that after that I immediately sent my kids home and I headed to the police station uh, to make a report uh, this the very same night so I couldn't I, I, I didn't manage to take note of the Beza's registration I think it was a V a VD a Vilaya plate Beza blue color all right so because we didn't stop to even because I didn't manage to stop and talk to the driver I just went to make a police report to, to protect myself in case uh in case the other guy guy sort of like you know uh, reports reports it and say it's my fault but uh i've 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 made my report made my statement and uh if no if, if the police doesn't 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 call call me after this it means that i probably am good all right uh just have to fork out maybe a, a couple of hundred bucks to 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 undo this damage and uh and i'll be fine When I switched to Pro Mileage, in my case, I got 46-47% of savings oh, for that car. Yeah. Pro Mileage was the only one that gave me 5,000 extra value to cover, yet still cheaper, a lot less. A lot Turn up. Less.